Hello, everyone, and welcome to Counselor Feature Friday. I'm your host, Brian Urban. In these features, we hope to give you some simple tips, tidbits, and tricks to make your days easier and your patients happier. In this feature, we're going to talk about emailing consolidated invoicing. Okay? So this is the ability to send an email out to a patient or their parents with information that covers multiple invoices. Uh, now, as you may already know, there is an option for printing consolidated invoices under Actions and then Invoice Statements. There are some tools in there where you can refine which invoices you wish to target, kind of the nature of those invoices, uh, and then go ahead and print those off. What we're going to focus on now is the option for emailing out those statements. So if we click on Invoices. We can click, we can see here that this patient has three invoices that have outstanding amounts due. We can click on any one of those three. I'm going to take the most recent one here. And then I'll select Actions and Email Invoice. So pretty straightforward. This is the same process you go through if you were just going to email this one invoice, right? Uh, you go through your typical steps where you're going to pick your template language or type in whatever you like. What I want you to focus on here is this option, consolidated statements, statement for all unpaid invoices, right? So this is specifically looking at unpaid invoices. When we check this, what it's going to do is, is take uh, the invoice or the statements that are being sent from just the single invoice that we're looking at to the consolidated for all unpaid. So when I click uh, send email, of course, it's going to shoot that email out right away. Now, if we jump back in the client's in the patient's profile here, we can scroll down and see in the audit record what's happened. So this is the email that I just sent out a moment ago. Now let's go ahead and look at it. So let's open it up. We can see the information. Uh, we can then see what the patient would see. So we're going to click on the invoice, and that will bring open the statement. Now, of course, this is all customized for you. It wouldn't have counselor's logo. Um, but what we're seeing here are the services and products across different invoices. Now, in this case, there was just one service or product per invoice. Of course, you could have multiple um, as far as that goes. There's also one payment in place. Once again, you could have payments across multiple invoices. You could have adjustments. You could have returns, exchanges, all kinds of things going on. Whatever's relative to that unpaid invoice will then show up here in a consolidated format. So for those instances where perhaps you have uh, patients or the parents that are responsible for maybe co-pays repeatedly over time, or in this case, the patient just owes you for a few different things, this does give you ability to, ability to, to email this to them in one go. All right, if you have any questions about this, please give us a call, email us, live chat with us. We are always happy to help. Thank you very much for joining us for today's Counselor Feature Friday, and as always, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.